Penila Harder and Zlatan Ibrahimovic shared a stage in 2015 during the end of year awards for the best performing footballers in Sweden. This meeting marked the start of something big in Harder's career and the start of a new era in women's football. Because Harder was receiving the award for best women's forward in Sweden and the best women's league player of the year. For Zlatan, he was the recipient of the Best Swedish Player of the Year award. The enigmatic striker was impressed by Harder, who was 22 years old at the time, and he gave her a simple piece of advice that sparked something in her. This is the story of Penila Harder, one of the best women's football players in the world. Penila met Zlatan in her first time outside her home country, Denmark. She was already a prodigy and knew that she was destined for more. Those sentiments were echoed in an interview after she won the Goal 50 award for the best woman's player of 2020. I think I was always a little better than my teammates when I was younger, she said at the time. But before she became the world's most expensive women's footballer, she met the legendary Zlatan Ibrahimović, and that happened to be the big push that spurred her to go on to even greater things. This is the story of how she met Zlatan and what followed. After growing up in Denmark with parents who played football, there was no surprise that young Penila would be interested in the game. Her father, Mogens Harder, was an avid Manchester United fan, and he did all he could to develop her as a footballer. He also showed her what it meant to be a fan of the game. The best footballers are those who enjoy the game as fans, before choosing to take part in it professionally. Her father made her aware of this and invested all he could into her. At age five, she was snapped up by a local amateur club, Holstrup Forholt IK. At the local side, she spent eight years as a youth academy player. She moved to iCast FC, her hometown club, and spent two years playing professional youth football. Her pro career kicked off with Viborg, and after five years of running riot in the Danish football leagues, she moved to Sweden to play for Linkopings FC. When asked why she snubbed big offers from Europe and chose Sweden, her reason was that she did not want to leave Scandinavia. In her first season at Link Opings, she scored three goals in 10 games as she settled into the new culture. Then she let loose the next season and scored 18 goals in 21 games. She kept banging in the goals, and after the 2015 season, where she scored 17 goals in 22 games, she was nominated for and won the awards for Forward of the Year and League Player of the Year. As the big winner at the gala event celebrating the best players in Sweden, she shared the stage with Zlatan, who was the big winner in the men's category. This was their first time meeting each other. Zlatan said something to her on stage after witnessing all the praise she received, including praise from Pia Sundhag, the Swedish women's national team manager at the time. Harder doesn't exactly remember what Zlatan told her, but she said, it was something like, believe in yourself and keep doing what you're doing. That meeting not only gave her the motivation she needed, but also made people watch her a lot more closely. And she put on a show for all to see. Are you enjoying the video so far? Make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications icon for more. Let's get on with it. She did not relinquish that award until she left for VFL Wolfsburg in 2017. Wolfsburg were already one of the best women's team in the world, but with Harder, they became almost unstoppable. She spent four years with the team and won the Bundesliga and DFB Pokal double four times. Wolfsburg would thrash opponents with Harder leading from the front. They built a reputation as the hardest team to beat in Germany and more individual accolades just kept coming. In that time too, they got to two UEFA Women's Champions League finals, but lost both to another monster team in Olympique Lyonnais Feminine. 
the accolade she holds most dear to her heart is how she and her partner, Magda Erickson, helped to advance the cause of the LGBTQ community in football. Harder was cheering Erickson on as Sweden played in the round of 16 of the UEFA Women's Euro Tournament in 2019. Sweden won and Erickson sought out Harder. Both shared a kiss and the moment went viral and sparked a revolution of sorts. Harder then moved to Chelsea in 2020 for 250,000 euro to become the most expensive women's player ever and to be even closer to her partner who also plays for the Blues. And the rest, as they say, is history. Many women football players have made history, but Harder's story is a modern day inspiration to fans and even her peers. Her rise to the top spurred a lot of players on, and now we have arguably the best era of women's football before us. A talented player from the onset, but her meeting with an enigmatic Zlatan surely inspired her to reach even greater heights. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon for alerts on new videos. Make sure to hit the like button on this video and all the other videos you watch on our channel too. We'll see you in the next video.